Also on the front page of the WrestlingObserver.com website, a plan to bring back CM Punk to AEW had been in the works, but it's unknown where things currently stand. Dave Meltzer reported in Friday's Wrestling Observer newsletter that Tony Khan wanted Punk back in the company. An agreement on reconciliation had been reached, but it's not clear how Punk's Instagram comments from last week may have impacted the situation. Meltzer wrote, quote, The situation with Punk became a bigger story this week when he put up an Instagram post where he went off on Tony Khan, John Moxley, myself, and Chris Jericho, which he immediately took down. This came while sides were working on a reconciliation that was at least in principle agreed to per the decision of Khan who wanted him back, end quote. Meltzer continued to suggest Punk's planned return may have been what led to reports that AEW is looking to book the United Center rather than the now arena in Chicago for All Out this year. While a reconciliation pact was in the works, Meltzer says the situation with Punk and AEW is now uncertain. <sighs> what was left out there was the fact that Punk was responding to a Dave Meltzer post in his forum and probably to the two radio shows before that where Dave gave his opinion on the rumors that Punk had his toe dipped back in the water. After all of that stuff blew up, we found out. Fightful uh, Select reported it. Other people had noted it as well, too, that it seemed to be that it wasn't just Punk's toe in the water, that throughout the entire time, conversations may have been taking place, and it looked at le- as, as though those feelings were being reciprocated by Tony Khan. Now we have this year where it was obviously the case that Tony Khan wanted CM Punk back. And this is where things currently stand. And why did Punk pull down that post? Did he do it because he knew it was a bad idea and decided to pull it down or got backlash for it? Was it because he violated something where it came to AEWs and social media and putting business out there? I don't know. And at the end of the day, look, if you're a pure wrestling fan, if you're just a wrestling fan and you look at things, I watch my show and I'm good. And I know that's usually not the people that are listening to this show for the most part. You're the most hardcore, obviously. But if you don't care about any of the other stuff, yeah, you want Punk back. You do. You want the Bucks there, you want Omega, you want Punk, you want Moxley, you want Hangman, you want this, you want everybody. You're a fan. You want to see big stars do things. And CM Punk is certainly not what he used to be, but he's more than serviceable. So, you know, I think he would be fine out there. But the problem comes with, I don't know why he would want to be back there. I don't know, other than the money, as a man, after being just emasculated at the press conference as a man if i'm tony khan i don't think i want him back obviously there's a whole side of a locker room that is not going to be comfortable with it i don't see how this works for anybody i really really don't especially for a guy like cm punk when you do have other options out there and tony khan frankly you got a whole roster full of options that you can concentrate on as well. What is everyone's favorite sandwich? So I was at a shindig last night. There was a grilled cheese sandwich truck there. The, hmm. the cheese pit. It was ham, pepper jack cheese, and sweet baby raised barbecue sauce. And I had them add jalapenos. Instead of the barbecue sauce, they had their own uh, garlic honey mustard. I had that on there instead. These are both excellent choices. That sandwich was pretty goddamn great. There are still a Quiznos in the area. I keep meaning to go visit one. The pizza sub at Subway. It's not on the menu anymore, but you get the, like the spicy Italian that have the add the marinara sauce and the meatballs. What are your favorite pizza toppings? Pepperoni, green, green pepper, onions, and you leap mushrooms. To answer this question. Man. I'm, I'm you leap. strongly opinionated on this one. What is your favorite type of sausage? Munchen House in Leavenworth, Washington. The Big yes, Bob Bratwurst. One third pound pork seasoned with a mild spice blend. Sweet and sour mustard on there. Your sweet relish and onions. That's that's a meal right there. So he presents his doctor's note, which is literally just the words, he's sick, written on a Wingstop receipt. I don't know if they sell the thigh bites now, but those are so good. The thigh bites at Wingstop are awesome. If you enjoy these videos for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full length editions of the Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm. 
the Mad Men podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.